Welcome to a new Let's Play Around With. Because I'm definitely gonna want to do some of the missions I can't do on camera. Welcome to Let's Play Around With The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, or from now on, Laws of BTW. Come on. Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Can I skip this? Not that I will. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I've never seen Breath of the Wild Zelda outside of cutscenes. I have never beat the game. I actually forget how far I've gotten in this version. Is to run. Of the note until the point I that get is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. I think about. One D hearts is what I need for it. I'm gonna be uh, mainly using the places for hearts. I know. Currently, we have zero defense. Something I love to do. Is practically... Pick up everything to break it. Hmm. 
It is possible to beat the game without climb. Shake a slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. But it's tedious to get out of this area without climbing. <laughs> There are a few cases in which there will be a cutscene that you can talk, that I won't be able to talk through. Well, this seems like the end of the game. I'm kidding! You can climb, as I hinted to a lot. I'm mainly doing this for reasons of it's of the one Switch game I have that isn't the Binding of Isaac After Birth Plus that I can do. Without things being tedious. You could press Y. Or you could then press right. On the D-pad. Ooh, food. Useful items here. And you could theoretically head to that campfire. It may be the way you're expected to get through this area. But... There's so much... Items you can get. Before you're really exposed to. Already made a mistake. This was too steep to jump up. Let's stall a bit. Yeah, you can get to here. See those? Things in the distance? They're bacoblins. Um... Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. See that weapon they have? Oh dear. Perfect. 
perfect, a good weapon. Monster parts, kinda good to have a collection of. Exactly what I'm doing there. This isn't my first time through this area, and it's not my second time either. But, I would have to at least say, don't you dare do that thing if you don't know how to fight. You're not really exposed to know yet how to fight. However, I've got experience in the game. That's mine. Bye, I'd say. To set things on fire. A torch is a pretty bad weapon. It's much better used for stuff such as making baked apples and burning stuff. This is a much better weapon. Hmm. This could be risky without future objects. But as you know, I pride in risk. Hmm. I kind of wasn't expecting that Korok seed. Which is a collectible in the game. Is this the Master Sword already? Nope! Rusty Broadsword. Kind of a good weapon, all things considered. Note, it's not fully safe to ignore land pass because that's a recipe for your defeat.
If you want to progress, you need to talk to that old man. That temple! Hmm... There are theories of that temple is the temple of time. <clears throat> I'm probably going to be picking up a lot of rocks. Coming up. Bad play on my side. Huh? Please avoid the penguin like one. I'm collecting monster parts. For the reason of they can be useful. Each tool has their own specific main use in the game. I could have swore that would be for a Korok seed. A Boko Club is a weapon. Ooh, yay! Drumstick. Try to save my better weapons. Because your weaker weapons are kind of easy to replenish. Here's a good point to show the use of the woodcutter's axe. To chop down trees. And to get wood. Ooh, that's interesting. In ancient gear. What could this creature be? It looks so powerful and scary. Let's equip our mostly broken Boko Club and take. It's Boko Club. And get something. I lay in trousers. A better equipment. Not that. There's... No real point to getting rid of your clothes. If you can.
if I'm breaking an item and I all of a sudden wind up with something that I have to attack. Sure, I'll attack it with the item I use to break it. Of a note, don't expect to get every guardian part immediately, or whatever that creature is part immediately. I wouldn't say it would be much of a spoiler on my channel, because I literally did a let's mess around with of this game? That, quite frankly, would cover most of what I'm telling you. So, I argue I'm not spoiling. Hmm. That's known as replenishing your weapon. idea in this game it's always better to I uh, dang empty stamina Get an ancient screw, get another. I came to the idea that you're not to sell your ancient tools. I mean ancient items. It's just not worth it to sell that stuff. Because you can get better stuff by keeping it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. There are points in which you can Ooh! Arrows! We don't even have a bow. Now we do. So we have some reins to us. Hey there, goddess statue. a good idea to register as much stuff as you can. 
And yeah, yeah, this video will probably be a bit on the long side. Do I want to risk it? There is a lot of loot possible. No. There's a black moblin. Or is it a blue one? Regardless, I don't think our club or rusty blade would be that useful. Do I have something? Yeah. Systems. Options. What? This game can be played in VR? Mm. Off. This is DLC. However, what I'm doing isn't. Because I don't have it. Come on! This may be a risk. Yes! Dang it! I should have healed! I should have healed! Or was the last auto save? Please tell me it was recent. Good. It was.
let's equip this. I know what I'm doing is very risky. Drop a weapon! My goal here is in to beat him. My goal is to disable it. I know. It's disabled. There we go! Beating an annoying monster. To get rare loot. Or loot you shouldn't have at the moment. Five volume arrows, nice. That will help me in the future, I'm certain. Yeah, I shouldn't have to stress it. I'm experienced. Here. You may not. Hmm. What's this thing for? Link, brace yourself. A sub-challenge here is to unlock every tower in the game. I'm not gonna attempt to beat 
the line north. All of them, anyway. That would hurt. Oh. I want that. I want what he has. Yeah, I do. Because at least the Hylian shield is there. Hand it over. I know what he wants. I'm gonna get an ancient screw on the way to where I know what he wants. And another. <laughs> if only I could get that chest. Only that was in the cards. If only, if only, I could get that chest there that I think may be partially made of metal. If only that chest was something I could get.
and uh, now here comes a saving. Point that I have to wait through. I'm skipping that. Mm. We can't go anywhere. We can't climb the wall. We can't dance on this board to move it. So why don't we examine this? Technically, every trial you can beat with basic tools and weapons. And what the trial supplies you. With. And the Magnesis counts as a basic tool. Up oh, note, you can drown in water. Hmm. Oh dear. That thing is a threat. Of the note, yes. I know you're probably not exposed to attack it. To win. You're probably exposed to use the magnesis to win. Nothing there. We might as well forfeit. If you thought that was a solution, you're crazy. Yeah, I just... I knew these hidden chests would be somewhere. Of the note, hidden chests aren't normally that useless. It's just a tutorial to show you. Yeah, look around. There are hidden chests around the world. I'm allowed to skip these. Because this isn't a let's play. It's a let's play around with.
paraglider, please. Paraglider, please. That one's in the deal. Are you joking? Quite frankly, of note, I don't think you have to do what he tells you in this case. Yeah, without doing what he tells you, you're just exploring randomly and there's at least one area you'd want to do as he told you but off the top of my head only one area you'd be absolutely required to. You're free to adventure this area at your own but whatever you do, don't jump down. That, I can assure you, is instant death. That's a far fall. There's a reason why I'm doing this. And there's a reason why I'm patrolling the outskirts instead of the inside. This is one of the, the three more places. I forget where the other one is. But in general, by patrolling of the outskirts, you're bound to find it. And if I can, I will complete the whole outskirt to read the whole Great Plains area.
without relying on the such as his guidance. The square bomb is my favorite. Make sure you're out of the way when you blow stuff up. I can pretty much speed run this area. Inventory for weapons isn't full stop line. You can blow stuff up in midair. Dang left Joy Con. There are few points in which the round remote bombs are absolutely necessary. And that's one of them. Let's worry about that a bit later, shall we? Hmm. Let's pick up a treasure. Sadly, whenever we see these yellow glowing balls, there's one thing invariable. You'll need it. Dang it! I need to put this on separate from me. Well, this one. Nope. Wrong. Uh, of the note, this puzzle is. My biggest problem in the game! Even though it appears simple, where do I need this? For it to be here, you need it. 
somewhere. But where? Tell me I didn't just ruin things. Yep. Um. Let's go under. The thought process of that was entirely optional to get across, but was there solely as a means of teaching you what to do. Sometimes that is the case. Let's keep it up. And specifically because of this is a pilot video. I am gonna make it longer than the norm. But I'm not sure if it can be longer than the Animal Crossing. Pilot. Oh dear, Bocos. It's night. My least favorite time. There's by my own expertise no good idea to attack that one's a one That one has to be the cold one, right? Why'd I jump? Run. Keys. Okay. 
Bog Crowd. Yeah, this is a cold area. If you're careful here. You can limit the boat. A bogo spear. What the best weapon? Hot lead, the worst shield. Bow goblins are not the best warriors. Good. I can only fix one helping. <laughs> ah, sorry. There's a serious reason why I'm not taking it. Yet. If I can get to this loop. Or is it? We've got a time limit.
because quite frankly I didn't go to the place that would be beneficial. Before coming here. See that spot there? That's our destination in the cold area. Which I sure hope we can go in there, clear it out, come back here, I mean go back to the warmth, without death. Ow, ow. The goblins, I don't really mind you. Just let me do what I need to do. Because I don't want to have to redo a section. Cryonesis. I literally expected this to be our last obtained room. And falling to sleep. Yeah, there are two other rooms. But overall, Bryonis is one of the more beneficial rooms. And it's coming. Is one of the more annoying ones. And Gryonesis isn't that good of a weapon, to my knowledge. I'm missing something. Yes, I am. Oh, 
Are you a good chance? Yes. You have a better weapon than the Boko Spear. That automatically makes you a good chance. I may be forgetting some chests. If I am, comment down below what chests I missed. I never say I'm perfect. Because, quite frankly, being perfect means I don't mess up, which I do. Um, and I see a knife. That I should get. Once I run out of cold resistance, I'm pretty much gonna sleep via teleport. With I haven't shown you teleporting. Trust me when I say it's actual teleporting, not cutting, like I tend to call teleporting. Sometimes, you may have to leap. What's that man up to? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's uh, the clothing I was referring to. Wanting. But, right. I think because I talked to him, it's not available in that other area. And <laughs> what is available in that other area now?
after he leaves. If he leaves. See down there. I'm gonna give you a better view of down there. Soon. <laughs> You can pretty much skip any scene in this game. We meet again, Stasis. Stasis just isn't my favorite room. I dislike stasis. Run! Stasis didn't work as it should have! Why isn't Stasis working? Run! I don't get why stasis isn't working properly. Sledgehammers. They're made specifically for stasis. So you can do that. Don't expect the rest of the, the game to be this fast. This rate of speed isn't normal.
And I still have cold resistance. Is there a safe way to get over there? I know where he's waiting for us. This is only my, I think, third time doing this. Let's get a heart container. It's not because it will refill your heart. To get a heart container only. <laughs> Here, let me show you. They all cross of the through the temple of time. Here comes something a bit on the annoying side. We have to climb up here. I know, tedious. And uh, because I didn't invest in a stamina vessel, because as far as I know, you don't need any extra. We'll have to rely on me stopping every now and then. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know the 
Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, 
as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. And we have the paraglider. And by King Rome, being King Rome Balthamon is the third. Does that mean that Zelda is Princess Zelda's first name? And her canon last name is Father Morris? And I'm dropping that bow for a better bow. Before we do anything, Major, I'd like to do a little something first. Something that you may have done. without the paraglider. No, not annoying them. There's a place. Get the warm doublet earlier. There would be a chest here. For you to get the warm doublet. Of note, I Hinted to come to this place first. And rely on spicy peppers. For survival. in there. But it's nice to know the game thinks of that potential. For you. in it. <laughs> the goblins are not fighting!
<laughs> of the note, I'm literally heading there the same way I normally head there. Oh dear! Run! I kind of expected there's something akin to this to happen. <laughs> And hope we won't be doomed. Because, quite frankly, there's no safe guarantee. in this area. There won't be a giant monster. Such as the Hinox. Or the Stone Towelist. And without my arrows of choice, I'm actually a bit on the side of underarmed. Yes, I see that, Shrine. And yes, I'll get it. Eventually. But I'm rushing to Kakariko. At the current time, reasons known by me and will be known by you too when I get there. Not too far. Let's actually take this area right, shall we? Oh dear, I know that 
look from anywhere. Yep, there's a not a rock. Hey, choo choos. Of the note, sometimes you can shortcut. Towers. I'm actually glad that my inventory is full. Don't mind me, Bacoblins. I'm not a threat. I just want to get to my map registered. I kinda know at what point my stamina will run out if I do another jump. At that point. <laughs> I've climbed these towers plenty of times. To know. One, two, climb. Jump. And uh, get this tower registered. And to peel off a layer of the map like an onion. Timeless reference. <sighs> Two way YouTuber. <laughs> Second tower registered, you get a shrine sensor. Let them in a recover. <laughs> this seems like a good level. Dang 
it! I actually thought that was flat enough. note there is several tricks to shortcut in the game one of them is while climbing if you're at a flat enough a slope try pressing B And you'll be able to recover stamina. While just climbing. It'll allow you to keep a moving up. The mountain, but don't use up stamina. I'm not fighting him again. Instead, I'll sneak around. With the paraglider. Glide on over this way. Make a left. Because there's no way I'd be able to climb up that cliff. What? A guardian. Can I sneak my way past that? Yes, thankfully, I can. We're not prepared for a guardian. There are some tricks for dealing with a guardian. Early game. But... I'm not skilled at those tricks. So, every time there's a guardian, I'd either run or cower. I tend to prefer the choice of cower.
because cowering tends to be the safer choice? I see the shrine and I see Kakarika. Let's keep on gliding. That's a blue bee. A curious creature that if you shoot it with an arrow, it drops a lot of rubies. And it's more curious than you think. Yeah, we don't have what we need. For that great fairy. If you can tell, I have been picking up everything I can for a reason. Not you. I think you're the place I want. Hey. I want to sail. We have seventy three. Seventy five, seventy seven, eighty six, one day, one sixteen. All your arrows aren't the best arrow for dealing with giants. Wonder if I thought this cliff was run up a ball.
Solaria needs to be restart if you want to get Oh, the power! It's overflowing! Say hello to the first great fairy. You're bound to encounter. Right, Fairy Calera, I think. <laughs> Let's improve the pain. Making them more defensive, shall we say. Ah. Yeah, you getting drowned in this. Flower. Great fairies are some of the most powerful creatures in all of the Legend of Zelda. Games. And I wouldn't want to fight a great fairy if I had to. We've made it to Kakariko Village. Quite good, one didn't say. And we have a reason to grind now. The stealth set and the Hylian set. With those sets available to us, I'd say it's a good time to, well, first up enable Amiibo, and second up save the game. And in the video. Our options turn off. And flip the camera to my face. Wow, two hours. The longest the normal video I've done. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But to most of all, as always, keep it joyful!